welcome back to Feed the City. Now, we've got a problem here. This guy has been stuck floundering in the water since the dawn of time. And I keep hearing his kind of groans and moans. And it makes me turn around IRL because I think someone's walked into the room. Because he keeps like sniffing. Like he's, uh, like he's, like he's, like he's crying maybe. Maybe this is a river of his tears. Well, anyway. He's lost, away from his mates, up on the mountain. His family is stuck up there, he's stuck down here. So how about we rescue this son of a gun, and then I'm going to bring his family down from the mountains, if I can, without killing them, it's pretty steep. And I'm going to make them uh, their own little kind of pen, their own little animal pen. We're going to have ourselves a little llama farm, so let's do it. Alright, alright, so we're going to pull the llama out of the water. How are we going to do that? Well, we could use animal leads. That's one way of doing it. A lead. And this, are they simple enough to make? Frozen. Slime balls. Tar. That's it. We have to use slime. We can also make nets. So there's like, um, golden lasso. There we go. Oh, now this is a lot easier. Just a golden nugget and four pieces of string. We can do that. Easy cheese. Now, I made something else also while I was uh, in between sessions. It's called a crafting table on a stick. And I hear you crying out like, what? A crafting table on a stick? How do you make that, first of all? Well, a crafting table on a stick, super easy to make. You get a normal crafting table and a sign. And what this lets you do is go anywhere, no matter where you are, you don't need a crafting table around you. You can just right click on this and you've got the means to craft on your person. So we can use this, for example, to make some string. So that is a golden lasso. Okay, bro, you don't have to... You can stop sweating now. We got you, baby. We got you. Yes! It's the golden lasso llama. Hey! hey. Saved! Oh, and look at that. He's so happy about that. So, up the mountain to try and catch ourselves another llama. So if we have two llamas, that's all we need to start breeding. So we could stop there. We can leave the rest of his family up there to just chill out. Oh, I hear him. He's up there. And there he is. We're gonna get him. This is probably close enough. Boing! Llama number two. All right, all right. So we've got two llamas, mates. They're hocking and they're spitting. So before we build our llama den, we're going to move the sheep over to their final resting place. It's over here. So in goes sheep number one. And then sheepo number two. You go in there too, my friend. Don't worry. You're not going to be alone away from your lover for too long. I, I'm assuming they're lovers. Maybe they're just mates. I don't know. Okay, so llamas are actually quite interesting. You can equip them with carpet to change their color. You can put chests on their back to, to make them like pack mules. They can carry around stuff for you. And you can also make a saddle. So if we type in saddle, I don't think it's a separate llama saddle. Stirrups. Mount any entity without the control of a saddle or a normal saddle. It's just iron and leather. Oh, man. So what we're going to do first is we're going to build we're going to build the llama house. It's going to be over here on top of this little hill. And we're going to move these guys over. We're going to breed them so that they make more little baby llamas. We're also going to tame them so we can ride them. And we're going to put carpets on them and check out all the different patterns and, uh, and styles that we can get on our llamas. So let's slip into build mode now and get on with this. Right, so I want this uh, llama farm to be on multiple levels. We have a little hill here that's slightly raised. And I want to build like a shack on top of it. And then have an, a big outdoors area for the animals. Because the cows and the sheep are going to be stuck indoors in the barn. But, uh, but that's fine because we're going to milk them. Uh, well, not milk the cows, but we're going to breed them and slaughter them. And the same for the sheep, but with the sheep we're also going to shear them. But we're going to keep those guys indoors. But for the llamas... Because they don't really have like a resource that we want, like they've got wool, but uh, we're going to use the uh, the sheep for that. And they've got leather, but it feels a bit cruel to uh, to kill llamas for leather. So we're just going to keep them as a showpiece, perhaps use them as pack mules or rideables. And we'll go over that and look into that once we've finished this build. But the blocks I'm using for this is the wisdom wood, classic, classic log there, some spruce fences and spruce gates. And we're using arrayed bricks, which are chiseled cobblestone in the shape of arrayed bricks. It's a pretty cool look. So I've raised up a platform uh, and I've dug a path as well out from the house. We're not going to fill this in just yet because I'm not sure what kind of road we want to use. Maybe just uh, some normal grass flattened down with uh, the shovel to make, uh, to make a path. 
Right, so we have the basic framework down. It took me a while to kind of work out exactly where I wanted to put the wisdom wood logs, but once they were in place, I was happy with that. We're going to use, again, the uh, the old mine colony's shingles that we used in the main house and the windmill houses for the llama house. And yeah, right, so the framework's all down, and I feel like uh, we're in a good position now. What I need to do now, though, is give it one more pass. We're going to do a bit of decorating, put some flowers down, finish up all the fences and the gates, and neaten up and trim around the sides. And we're also going to put down just some little bits of decoration here and there to make the place look more llama-y. Right, so here is the finished product. We've got some iron lanterns. Put down some hay bales, because llamas super like hay. In fact, that's how you make them breed. Uh, and we finished up the entirety of the hut itself. I've replaced some of the fences with spruce planks that we chiseled out. And obviously, we've also decorated the gates too, so they look pretty snazzy as well. Right, well, let's jump in and get the llamas into their new home. Right, here we go. I better close all these gates in case I accidentally leave them open and the llamas break free. The most important ones to, uh, to make sure are locked. Oh, the llamas could actually climb up here and then climb out. We'll have to... Oh, maybe we'll need to fix this, uh, this situation here. Unfortunately, as cool as wisdom logs look on the corners, they're not great for animals. Animals can climb up those and get out. But there's always the safe spot of inside the actual pen. The llamas definitely can't escape here. There's nothing, they can get up to this on the logs here, but they can't get over the fences here because the roof's too low and the fence is too high. Hay bales inside here, so we'll lock this up. Okay, let's get the golden lasso and move these guys into their new home. So apparently llamas attack. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, just teleported me, that's weird. Apparently llamas attack. If I punch the llama, he's gonna spit back. Seems a bit rude, but uh, if I'm attacking him, that's fair enough. Chuck you in there. There, welcome to your new home, bro. And your mate. Whoops. Oh, that is weird, isn't it? Now, one thing I've noticed is these fences here are too low, too close to my head. We need to raise both those ones and the ones over there up by one block. But that's something we can do once we're done with llamas. Okay, so they're in position. Let's go and make some carpet of different colours to try and put on them and also make some hay bales. Hello, bros. It's me, your boy. Now that grass will slowly... I do I do really like the mix of rose bushes and peonies. That pink and red kind of feel really kind of brings some vibrancy and colour to the front of the farm there. Right, so how do you make carpet? It's been a long time. Long time since I made carpet. In fact, maybe actually that's what the house is missing. So white carpet is just literally two white wool and all the different colours are just a different colour wool. Now, usually you need like a full eight to dye wool a certain color. White wool is used for... Oh, no, no, we can just do it one by one. Okay. So we'll take one piece of blue wool. Two pieces of blue wool. Perfect. Red dye. One. Oh, we're missing another red dye. I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with R. Now here is our failed multi-farm. Man, that episode, what a write-off. We got it working. It put down these seeds and has grown this. But to actually get it sustainable, we need, we need that fertilizer from animal sewage. That's the one for us. Okay, the red dye. Red wool. Red carpet. Blue carpet. Right, let's put these on and see what these guys look like. Also, have I got a chest lying around? I think I do. Yeah, let's try putting a chest on these things as well. Here I come, llama boys. So in our hands should be everything we need to mess with these llamas and uh, try out different things. In we go. Right, so we'll put the red carpet on you. Extract, restock, merge, deposit. Oh, whoa, okay. We did it, somehow. We've put red carpet on the llama, and he looks, ah, oh, this is a Gryffindor llama to be sure. Well, let's make his buddy a Ravenclaw llama. So if I right click, and I should be able to deposit the blue. Oh, and it's even got different patterns. This is like a scarf. This is like a hanging down blue thing. Nice, we've got a Gryffindor llama and a Ravenclaw llama, sweet. But can I saddle up? Can I saddle up one of these bad boys? And if I do, do I need to, uh, it's not letting me saddle him. Weird. Well, they are definitely rideable. That is a saddle slot right there. 
Oh, and we don't even need to press the deposit button. We can literally just drag and drop the carpet onto him. Sweet. Man, right, well, that's been the Llama episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Next week, we're going to go back to machines. We're going to try and get a sewage set up in our barn. We're going to put down the machines that we need to breed cows, to feed cows, to separate the babies, and then to slaughter them. And then once we've got that system in place, we're going to be able to get real meat. Now, it's going to be processed meat, so not the nicest meat but I'm pretty sure we can turn the processed meat back into steak, if that makes sense. Hmm, let me have a think about that one. <laughs> uh. But either way, we'll look into what we can do with meat ingots, but we need that system in place. We need to breed the cows so we can start collecting sewage from them. Well, no, we don't need to do that before we start collecting sewage, but I want to be able to get meat in automation. And oh, is this guy trying to kiss me? Go away, oh, he's spitting in my face. All right, well, until next time, guys, take care.